Okay, it's day two and I'm already having a problem with Vedim. The sort of problem in which I don't know how to film. You know what I mean? I have some footage from yesterday that I was going to voice over and make into today's vlog, as in the 2nd of March, but today is the 1st of March and the footage is from yesterday, which is the 28th of February, and I'm like, if I keep doing it that way, surely every video I make will be from two days ago? Or should I just put the 28th of February footage in with some 1st of March footage, edit it tonight, and upload it tonight to go live tomorrow, and then from then on, film my day and then edit it in the evening? Oh, I don't know, because what if there's something great happening in the evening so I can't put it into the vlog before I upload it? This is very confusing. How do I do this? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, just thought I'd get that off my chest. So I'm finding it really difficult to motivate myself today because all I have to do this morning is go to the supermarket and get some food and then read some children's books. Uh, why do I complain so much about my degree? It's awesome. I mean, sometimes I do have a lot of reading to do. Like, sometimes I'll have the equivalent of like all of this to do in like a day. But other times, like this, when I've caught up with my work and I've been like quite good at like planning and organizing, I then have nothing to do or like just like silly little things to do. Not silly little things, but like lots of little things. I'm quite bad at getting lots of little things done. I would much prefer to be like, right, do an essay. Easy. I mean, not easy, but as in, I know that I'll be able to stay in the library from nine till five doing an essay. Does that make sense? Oh, I don't know. Maybe this is also just a bit of my anxiety coming back. Sometimes it's hard to tell. You know, like last year when I was in halls, I often found it difficult to leave the flat. That was just something that became part of my anxiety. Um, maybe I'm just feeling a bit of that. Who knows? But I thought if I pulled out the camera and vocalised my feelings, it would help me a bit. <sighs> I'm feeling it. Right there. If you have anxiety, you know what I mean. It's like... But sometimes it's also like in the tummy as well. It's really weird. And sometimes it's like up here and it's like strangling you. That was vivid. Maybe we could do the tactic that I used to do whereby we do things one step at a time. So I'm not going out to the supermarket. I just need to put some clothes on. Okay. So I've laid this outfit out for myself on the bed to see if it looks good. And it'll be comfy because I won't have like tight jeans around my waist. I'll just have like a nice little stretchy skirt. So I think I'm gonna go for some accessories as well. I've got a few options here. I think this outfit is like slouchy enough that I can wear something quite cash. So I'm gonna wear something <laughs> that I haven't worn in a long, long time, which is this locket. I used to wear it, I'm not even kidding, every single day from the ages of about 15 to 17 because I was writing a novel, or rather three novels, <laughs> about these girls that had lockets that had magic powers that took them to a uh, land where all their favourite book characters and fairy tale characters lived. So this actually brought me a lot of comfort when I was ever anxious or sad. Maybe I should put some earrings in too. Let's see what we've got here. I've got a little box here of earrings. Hmm, I might just go for some little studs or something. Classic little diamond looking studs. Probably shouldn't be doing this using a camera for a mirror. Okay, here comes the re-piercing re of the ears. There we go. I just re-pierced my ears. Girls out there, who else has to do that? Like, even if I wore earrings every day, okay, maybe not every day, but sometimes if I only wear earrings every other day, I have to re-pierce my ears every time. Is that a sign of, like, bad ear piercings? But I've never had any infections or anything, so I don't know what it means. It doesn't hurt that bad, <laughs> she said, as her ear started spouting blood. No, it really doesn't, it's fine. Hooray! And now all I have to do is do something to my hair, because I'm not going out with it like this, it looks really stupid. This is my problem with my hair. Why does it do this? <laughs> Trying to be cool, but I'm too dyspraxic. Yeah, I really thought I would catch that as well. I really thought that would make up for dropping the first one.
way. Honestly, I don't think I would have been able to do that without the step program and the camera. That's really weird, isn't it? Anyway, I'm home now and guess what I have to do? This is legitimately my homework for today. I've somehow managed to work super, super hard last week and the beginning of this week, meaning that I only have to read this today. How exciting is that? Look what came in the mail. It's my new laptop. It's my new laptop. Woohoo! Hooray, my laptop's here. So I've got it here on the bed with me. Um, I thought I might just open it on camera because that's fun. That's a thing people do sometimes. Got my scissors out. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting. This company is not like a traditional um, brand company. It's like its own separate company and you can like build your laptop yourself and decide exactly what you want to be put into the laptop. Like what sort of graphics card you want, how much memory you want, what processor you want. And it's a really good company because it means you get everything you want and it's way cheaper than buying something from like Mac or like Asus or whatever. Not to say those brands aren't good, but if I'd have wanted something like this from Mac, it would have cost me six to seven hundred pounds more than it did. It's amazing. I'm really, really happy. So let's open it up. Here we are, opening the box. Woo. Oh. Hey. How do I open this? I don't want to break anything. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. What is all this stuff? I don't understand. Okay, here's the charger, I think. What's all this? Oh no, I don't know what any of this is. Oh, this is still the charger, okay. Oh Lord, so many things. What is this? Oh, this is the battery. Hey, I know some things, okay. Hey, this looks so nice. Oh my gosh, this is so much thinner than I thought it would be. I mean, it's not super thin, but I was just expecting it to be really clunky for some reason. Oh my gosh, look how slick and new this looks. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm scared to turn it on um, without Fabian, so <laughs> I'm gonna wait for him to come round whenever that may be. Um, but until then, this is exciting. I've done that thing where I got into bed because it was cold because the heating was off and now I've got to go to work and I feel really sleepy and it's cold Urgh. it's because usually I'm out of the house during the day like usually I spend all day at university or all day in the library or whatever but because it's been reading week and I've been like doing a different schedule to what I'm used to I've been in the house quite a lot and now it's cold and I don't want to get up ah uh, okay I'm gonna have to get up aren't I anyway it works fun anyway so I'm gonna go do that and I finish at five um, and then I guess I'll just come home and make a fun lasagna that I can film later. Let's look forward to the lasagna. Okay, here we go. Okay, I've been at work for an hour now and I'm just sitting here doing some animation. No, that's not as fancy as it sounds. I can't actually animate things, but we have this, um, what's it called, like, website that we use with the software on there to animate things. And yeah, basically that's what I'm spending all afternoon doing. And I've got to say, it's a skill that I need to acquire more of. I'm not very good at designing things, so this job has helped me to be more creative in designing visual things for people. It's taken me a whole hour to do about 15 seconds. Um, that's just how animating is for me. I'm not good at it. I mean, I'm getting better at it, but I'm not as good as I'd like to be. Um, and yeah, it's difficult. So I'm just gonna sit here and try my hardest. Let's do this. Okay, so I've just finished work and I am exhausted, but I can't decide since I'm already halfway to town if I should go to New Look and collect my order now or tomorrow. Dunno, I'm really tired. I don't know how. Oh well, what shall I do? I need to decide, don't I? One hour later, yep. That was a kerfuffle. Basically, I went to New Look and I was like, hi, I'm collecting a parcel. And the woman at the desk was like, yeah, and like Gwen and got it for me and that was all fine and dandy. And then as I was walking out of New Look, I realized that the parcel was quite small because I'd ordered four things, including a pair of shoes. And I was like, why is the parcel so small? So I went and sat down somewhere, looked inside, and there was only two things in there, like minus the shoes. So it was really confusing. And I was like, oh, I wonder if like, 
there's like two parcels and they accidentally only gave me one of them. So I went back to the store and just told them what had happened. And these three women behind the counter were so nice. They were like really lovely and patient and like apologetic. And they spent the next 45 minutes with me trying to figure out what had happened. And basically <laughs> what was deduced was that when my order was packaged up at like the packaging place, they were out of stock of the shoes and one of my other items. So they just didn't include them. And so then one of the women, Alice, called up customer support and was like, hello, can we please have these items resent out? Could you just refund this woman for the shoes and the other thing? And then I can sell them again to her for like next day delivery or something. And then they spent the next like 20 minutes um, refunding me and then re ordering my clothes for me. So that was actually really nice of them, although it was like a bit of a kerfuffle and a bit of a hassle and like not ideal. Um, I just want to say, in case any of them are listening, I think their names were Alice. I think one of them was called Rose. I can't really remember, but I just want to say thanks for giving me great customer support and you were just so calm and so patient and so lovely. So thank you, people of New Look Cardiff Queen Street. Brill, good job. Anyway, now I'm gonna make dinner because I'm getting hungry and this dinner will take a while. So, are you ready? I'm about to actually cook. Now hold up, hold up. I don't just mean I've got a ready meal and I'm gonna stick it in the oven. I'm gonna cook from scratch. My mum told me about this recipe she makes that's like spinach and ricotta pasta, but I couldn't be bothered to stuff the cannelloni. So I'm gonna make a lasagna style of this recipe and hope it goes well because I've never cooked it before. So, Let's see how it does. Okay, so these are my ingredients. I'm pretty sure this is it. First thing I need to do is cook the spinach until it's wilted, drain it, and add this to it. Ooh, exciting. And then, ooh, actually, I also need some nutmeg. Do we have nutmeg? Please have nutmeg. Oh dear, I thought we had nutmeg. Ha ha! Yes! Yes, indeed. I found it. Nutmeg, that was nearly a disaster. Mmm, oh my god, this smells so good. So I just cooked the spinach, mixed in the cheese stuff and added some nutmeg. And it literally, look how good that looks. Oh, I'm excited. Now all I need to do is make the tomato sauce. Okay, I've done the tomato sauce. I've done the spinach and ricotta filling. I greased out this pan because I couldn't find a casserole dish. Now all I need to do is layer everything. Woohoo! Okay, so maybe I went a little overboard on the cheese, but it's all going to melt anyway. And look, it fits perfectly in the pan. And now I'm going to put it in the oven. Woohoo! Let's do this. Bye! Okay, so I think it might be slightly overdone on the top, but I needed to wait for the pasta to cook. So... Ta-da! Actually, that looks hella good. Look what I created. This is so exciting. Okay, I need to put the camera down so I can get out of the oven without killing myself. Yay! Yay, it worked! Look how cool this looks. Hang on. I mean, it's not plated very well, but you've got the spinach. Hang on. You've got, it looks, basically it's cool, okay? And now I'm cuddled up on the sofa under this blanket because guess what happened tonight on the night where there's gale force winds and minus degrees temperatures? The heating broke, hooray. I mean, okay, I should stop complaining. I had a little cry about it, couldn't fix it. Um, so we're gonna have to get someone in to look at it. But it's not the end of the world because I've got nice food. I've got my cuddly blanket and I've got some hot water bottles in here too to keep me warm because I'm not kidding, it's as cold in here as it is outside. So I'm trying to keep warm. I think after this I'm gonna have a bath as well to get all cozy. So yeah, it turned out for the better, even though at one point I was having a panic attack, now I'm fine. Okay, so I'm just running myself a nice warm bath. I'm still feeling a bit stressy, so hopefully this can help me out. I've literally put as much bubble bath in there that I could, hang on. There's already so many bubbles, I need to like, move some out of the way to create room for more. That's how many bubbles I want! <laughs> anyway, yes, I'm really looking forward to having this bath. Um, just to calm myself down, it's actually nearly quarter to nine because everything that I've done this evening has like gone wrong and taken so long that like, it just, <sighs> time got away from me. So I'm gonna have this bath and then probably get straight into bed. Okay, so I just had a nice bath. 
and now I just decided to get into bed with, ooh, I made myself this cup of tea, which I made two or three nights ago for myself when I was like, oh, I need a really good night's sleep. I'll like drink something calming. And basically what it is, is it's one chamomile tea bag and then one nighttime tea bag, which has like lavender and lime grass in it. And then also I put a slice of lemon in there and I've got a straw because it doesn't actually taste too good. So I feel like if I drink it through a straw, I can just like drink it as quickly as possible so that I don't taste it. The other night when I made this, I was like skeptical, like this isn't gonna work. What is this nighttime tea, chamomile tea thing? But actually, literally halfway through drinking this, I started dropping off. It was so crazy. So I've decided since I've been feeling a bit like stressed and anxious this evening because of like things and events, I'm just gonna drink this before bed and then hopefully drop off to sleep and have an early night. And then tomorrow I'm definitely gonna go out and do work in the library because I think the reason that I felt so all over the place today is because I've been inside um, and I felt like I haven't really done anything even though I have. So tomorrow is a library day. I'll be there with Kezi and we'll just be like essay writing and stuff. So yes, looking forward to that. But other than that, oh, I can't, I can't do any hand movements because I'm holding my tea, but <laughs> I've had a good day. I hope your day is as good as it can be and I'll see you tomorrow guys. Bye.